Hey friends, so we're here at Universal's Islands of Adventures to try and give you an idea of what the wait times and the queues are like here whilst Halloween Horror Nights is on at Universal Studios Florida because everybody's over at Universal Studios Florida. Now the problem is I'm just here in Thunder which means we might have a lot of things cut short but we're going to try and see what it's like. We've got like four hours until the park closes. Halloween Horror Nights is just starting to stay in Scream now. That starts in two and a half hours, but everybody's going to be inside for Stay and Scream. Locals will be going there at six o'clock. So it's interesting. My glasses are going funky because the UV, the transition meta new things. It looks awful and I look weird, but I do not care because I am at Universal and that's the important thing. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the video throughout. And if you do, give a thumbs up to appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot. It'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button, bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. Let's head into the adventure. So the beauty is, this is completely empty here. I love it, absolutely love it. I don't mind coming in this late when I've got an annual pass, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys a little detail which I actually did not know until recently. The gate here of Islands of Adventure. You've got icons of the lands in the gate. Zeus Landing, you've got the Islands of Adventure Port of Entry one, you've got Lost Continent at the top, Jurassic Park, Wizarding World, Toon Lagoon, and Marvel Superhero Island. I didn't even know this was a thing here until recently. So that's cool. You learn something new every day. The adventure begins. Here we are at Universal's Islands of Adventures. There's a weather delay, so a little bit of a tricky one. All of the outside rides have gone down. So what have we got? We've got Cat in the Hat. We've got the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man we can ride. That's kind of it at Islands of Adventure, but they're two pretty good rides. I love Port of Entry and how much kinetic energy is around here. One of the really cool things here at Islands of Adventure, they don't have it anymore, unfortunately. But they've got this little boat dock here. And you used to be able to take a boat from this side of the lagoon to the other side of the lagoon it would do shuttles back and forward it doesn't do it anymore unfortunately but that's very very cool i wish they did beautiful view of Velocicoaster here unfortunately not going around and then hogwarts castle looming in the background there along with mythos i do love islands of adventure but this is such a tricky park, especially when there is a thunderstorm coming in. We're here in September and September in Orlando is a bad season for thunder, lightning, hurricanes, etc, etc. So we've got a few things to ride. We'll go and check on the wait times of those in just a second. We might go to Marvel Superhero Island first actually and go and ride may need adventures of spider-man amazing adventures of spider-man not many adventures this isn't we the boo so we're heading into marvel superhero island here and because there is a storm in the area like i said pretty much island shuts down everything's outside here we've got the incredible hulk roller coaster which shuts down uh there's a clone of this actually at universal studios beijing um, and it's the Deceptor Coaster for Transformers. So we did ride that, go and check out our uh, Beijing videos from Universal Studios Beijing. What a fantastic park. And you can see this amazing roller coaster, night and day difference, because the head restraints are much better. You don't hit your head, which is fantastic. But there's only two rides open at Marvel Superhero Island when there's a storm in the area and that is The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man and Storm Force Accelotron. So we are going on The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. We'll see what the queue time's like. There's a lot of people leaving the park right now. A lot of people leaving the park. As I said, Halloween Horror Nights is on. Stay and Scream is currently in place. A lot of people are gonna be going over to that and we are just before the start of that. So, The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man is currently posted at a 20 minute wait, which isn't too bad actually. 
So let's go and ride this fantastic classic dark ride here. Still one of the best dark rides in the world to this day. So we're gonna go and help Spider-Man save New York City. We're here at the Daily Bugle now. Here is the ride vehicle we'll be taking. Obviously, a little bit bigger than that. I don't think I would. I could fit my feet in there, standing up, but I couldn't fit my butt in there. But that's what it looks like. And exit into the gift shop. The Marvel gift shop. Lots of Spider-Man merch. I love it. I love it. There's such a weird agreement that's between Disney or Marvel and Universal here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice shirt. Seventy dollars. No, 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 no. There we go. So it was posted at a 20 minute wait, and I think we did actually wait 20 minutes. That is still one of the best dark rides in the world. I love the movements there. It's got, a, it's got the same ride system as Transformers, but I think this utilizes it so much better. Absolutely fantastic. The Incredible Hulk is going around now. That's cool. That means the weather delay is finished. We can get on Velocicoaster and potentially get on Hagrid's as well now. So we're going to see what the wait times are like. Let's go over to the Incredible Hulk, see what the wait time is like there. And that'll kind of give us an indication of what this park is doing during Halloween Horror Nights and see whether it's worth you spending time here if you don't have a Halloween Horror Nights event ticket because it's a separately ticketed event. You can't just walk in with your 14-day ticket from the UK or your standard day ticket if you've got one of the, the day passes here. So the Incredible Hulk roller coaster is a 25 minute wait and it's looking a little bit busy around by the ride entrance but we have got these set enhancements happening so that might be why but 25 minute wait for this world class roller coaster it's pretty good you can't take any valuables on or anything like that you have to store everything in the lockers we're not going to ride that now we will at some point but not today one of the sad things about Islands of Adventure is they've got a bunch of these stadium theatres and they're just not doing anything. You've got this one in Toon Lagoon. There was at one point like a BMX show here. There's a whole bunch of things, a lot of BMX shows. I think there's two or three. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX show or something. Silly like that. And they're just not doing anything anymore. That's a lot of valuable space that you could do something with, but it's in such an awkward place now. You can't expand it with a new land because it's not big enough for that, but they don't want to expand Toon Lagoon because it's just not the best, right? There's also another one over in Lost Continent, Sinbad's Theatre, that closed down. And they've also got um, Poseidon's Fury, which was a walkthrough attraction over there. And that also closed. So. I Lost Continent could make way for something bigger, whether it does or not. I don't know, rumours are The Legend of Zelda, that would be very cool. And I guess the land kind of fits that, they wouldn't need to change too much aesthetic-wise. Right, let's see what the water rides are like in Toon Lagoon. So, we've got Popeye and Bluto's Bill Drapped Barges just down here. This is a fantastic water ride. You are absolutely guaranteed to get wet on this ride. Hey, Florida is hot. Gotta be done, right? That's the ride vehicle. Let's see if we can uh, see what it looks like getting wet. It's posted at a 10 minute wait. You definitely 
either need a poncho or you just have to be accepting of your fate for this ride. I'll try and show you how wet you get. So if you get caught under this, you are getting wet. Guaranteed, look at that. Absolutely guaranteed to get wet. So Dudley Do-Right's Ripsaw Falls. This fantastic log flume ride here is currently posted at a 15 minute wait. Toon Lagoon is pretty much water ride. You do get very, very wet on this ride. We'll take you around the front and show you what that is like. Ride vehicles are a little bit difficult to get into as well, so just bear that in mind. If you are in any way, shape or form a human being, it is hard to get into these ride vehicles. So, but you should do it anyway. So this is it, 15 minute wait for this. Yeah, you will get wet. And then around the other side, there's people that can do the cannons as well, the water cannons, you can pay. You can also do that on bill trap barges, but you know, they're guaranteed to get wet. You're guaranteed to get wet on both of these rides. They are fantastic rides. One more time for good luck. Boom! What a ride. So as we make our way around, we've got Skull Island, Reign of Kong, currently posted at a 10 minute wait. This isn't the best ride, but 10 minutes is worth it for this ride. I'd say 30 minutes is worth it for this ride, but I'm not gonna do it today. Jurassic Park River Adventure here is currently posted at a five minute wait. Nobody on that boat. You don't get as wet as you expect, but you still do get pretty wet. And this is such a classic ride. If you can get and ride this, do ride it. We loved it in Hollywood as well, because in Hollywood, it's Jurassic World rather than Jurassic Park. But what a cool, cool ride this is. So many awesome effects in it. Such a big ride vehicle as well. This eats people and uh, yeah, boom. I think they got a little bit wetter. More people in, the wetter you get. We got a baby raptor meeting and greeting. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> Keep going around to Velocicoaster, see what that is like at the moment. Velocicoaster is currently posted at a 45 minute wait. It hasn't long opened since the downtime, the weather issues that it had. This is one of my favorite roller coasters in the world. It's such a phenomenal ride. And just look at that, the views that you have up top. Coming to Burger Digs. If you've seen any of our videos from Ireland, you know we love this place. This is where we hang out when it rains as well. Um, got some chili cheese fries, 6.99. Uh, they came to 6.29 with discount and then add tax on 6.70, so not too bad. We've sat down with one heck of a view to eat some food here at Burger Digs. Velocicoaster is cycling around. Pretty good. As I said, 45 minute wait. Got ourselves the chili cheese fries. And we're gonna sit here and just enjoy the view for a little bit. After some food in Burger Digs, Velocicoaster has gone down to 35 minute wait. So let's go and ride this world class roller coaster. This is one of my favorite roller coasters in the entire world. We've done a few at this point. I think I got over 100 coaster credits, which isn't a lot, but I don't actually really count them properly. I just love that top hat. What a ride that is. So, 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 so much fun. Hands up all the way around. Front row as well. There is a front row queue, so that's great. Where's the toilet? 
Now, I can't take this camera off. But I can take this camera off. Do you want to see what it looks like front row? It will be portrait because that's just how this happens. I'll zoom in a little bit, but I don't want to ruin the quality. But let's show you a little bit of a POV of Velocicoaster front row. So next up on our hunt for the queue times, whilst HHN is on, we're heading into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Hogsmeade Village. Now, this place is always a long wait for Hagrid's at least. Not so sure about Forbidden Journey right now. It's unfortunate that they've just got this little drizzle of a stream here. In Japan and Beijing, you've got a full black lake, which is really nice. But the castle still looks stunning. So Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is only posted at a 15 minute wait. That's not too bad. Cougar Arm Simulator Ride. Very sickness inducing. Very much not gonna do it right now, but 15 minutes is pretty good. Flight of the Hippogriff is also posted at a five minute wait, so look, the ride queues are quite low today. This is pretty good. Is this because of Halloween Horror Nights? Or is it because it's about to start raining? Who knows? But I'm here for it regardless. So Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure is posted at a 65 minute wait, which isn't too bad for Hagrid's actually. That's pretty good. I do love the Wizarding World, but if you, it's so, 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 so busy all the time. If you've seen any of our Beijing videos, you'll see the differences between this Wizarding World and the one over there, and how things like the wall are gone, just the area is a little bit bigger. Ollivander's is over this side rather than over that side. So, a few pretty interesting differences. So we've got a frozen butter beer because you have to get a butter beer when you go through the Wizarding World, right? Um, I wanted hot, but they only do hot in the free broomsticks. I couldn't be bothered to go inside. We've got the magical fountain here just in front, which is pretty cool because it like talks to you and stuff. And it's a fountain, obviously. The Sinbad Theatre is back there, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's back there. Can I what? It's talking Can I to... Can walk around you? It's talking to the no. little kid. <laughs> That's quite cool. And he just asked to have water thrown on him, and they've done it. Which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, you've also got here... Boardwalk 
Boutique, All Hallows Eve. Finding your voices. And Lil Boo, Spirit Jersey. Okay, so that's coming home with me, obviously. Everything Lil Boo. Lil Boutique. But this is like the Halloween shop here in Ireland. And it changes all the time. I think Becky would kill me if I took that home. I'm sure she'd kill me if I took like half of the merch in here home. But you know, what are you gonna do? There, there he is. $30. I'll get fast holder discount on that, so it'll be 27, but then it'll get back up over 30 with tax. So the Halloween Horror Nights t-shirts. I'm not a massive fan of this design, but I do get the full house one every year so kind of got to do what you got to do right right we're in Zeus landing now checking out the wait times once again we've got the high in the sky Zeus trolley train ride which goes all around Zeus landing let's see how long that is five minute wait Okay, then I've got to do it, right? I'm going to go in as a sneech, and I'm going to come out as a Starbelly sneech. So, you just have to do it. That's basically the universal version of the People Mover from the Magic Kingdom. You get amazing views of Islands of Adventure, you get amazing views of the Magic Kingdom on the People Mover, and it's just a relaxing, chill ride with a low weight. That breaks down less than the People Mover, thankfully. But hey, I love it regardless. I do love it. I love them both. I love a chill ride. Right, let's go and see what Cat in the Hat wait time is like. Look at how good some of these snacks are. Character cupcake, thing two, red velvet cupcake, double chocolate one, and it's got little books on top. These look amazing. All right, let's head round and see what the wait time is like at Cat in the Hat. Again, we are here during Horror Nights, Halloween Horror Nights over at Universal Studios. And it doesn't look like anything is busy here. It's about 45 minutes till park close. So we're looking good 
so far. One fish, red fish, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, sorry, is a five minute wait. I've never ridden that ride in my life. And the cat and hat is a five minute wait as well. That's not bad, all right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. They need to change this to a zero minute wait. There's literally no one. I'm walking all the way onto the ride. I'm the only person. So I was the only person on the ride the entire time I was in there. I walked in, walked on the ride, picked whatever seat I wanted, and yeah, nice, nice. That was good. I, you know, the ride does need a little bit of TLC, a little bit, a lot of it. It needs a lot of TLC, but. Universal don't have many indoor dark rides like that, so that's what I appreciate. Because as you saw when we came into the park at the start, there was nothing to do, really. You had that, you had The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. Everything else is an outdoor ride, roller coaster, whatever. So it all closed down. That's not good, that's not good. Before we leave the park, we're gonna go over and ride Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and then we've done Velocicosa and Hagrid's in one day, which is what I love to do. Obviously, I do love doing the other rides as well, like I said, but those are the two best rides in the park. They are roller coasters, they do go down, but they're amazing. Zeus Landon is also in need of TLC actually, like Cat in the Hat, but it's such an amazing land. It's just, it's old, that's the problem. So let's jump on Hagridge just before the park closes, posted at a 50 minute wait. I mean, this goes for 90, 120, 240 minutes sometimes, you know especially park open, it is absolutely rammed. So, 50 minutes, pretty cool with that. Unfortunately, Hagrid's went down as I was about to step onto the low platform, which sucks, but I did get the coveted Burgundy Express Pass. Uh, single ride attraction pass for Hagrid's. Good for a couple of months. Merlin, Merlin, Alton Towers, Legoland, Thorpe Park, Chesington. I could learn a thing or two from Disney and Universal. They dump the queue they give you a pass to return. It really is as simple as that. You don't know if spots maybe, so they just give it to you. They were handing them out like hot potatoes. Do, do you hand out hot potatoes at the exit? And we can use it when we come back in a few days. So that's great. It sucks. We couldn't ride it, but they do it for safety. There's lightning within five miles or three miles, I think it is. Um, and they have to shut the ride down right at the end of the night, so it just won't be operating again tonight, unfortunately. It is what it is, but I've had a pretty good day. We've ridden quite a lot of rides, and the wait times have been less at Islands whilst HHN is on. That's good. 
that's good. So what I would say is it's worth coming to islands when Horror Nights is on. Or come to islands and then go to Horror Nights because Horror Nights is still on for another six hours. That's how you do it, right? So unfortunately, our time at Islands Adventure was cut short by the rain, the lightning even. A little bit of rain coming down, it's on my glasses, but that is what it is, right? You can't do anything about that. Blah. Florida gonna Florida. Um, but I think we did pretty good. We got on a few rides today with you guys. Uh, I'm sad I didn't get on Hagrid's, but I could have done a few more. I just took it a little bit more chill. Um, wait times are definitely lower, like I said, so I would recommend coming out to islands whilst HHN is on. Close down the park, and then it's up to you what you do. If you want to go to HHN after that, and you know, if you've got your multi-night event ticket, you can do that, right? So, really, really worth it. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video throughout and uh, you've enjoyed coming along to Islands of Adventure with us. We've had a lot of fun taking you for the ride. If you have enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. Do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot. And it would be great if you could hit the subscribe button, bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks.